It starts with an Excel file. It always does. The file needs to be updated daily. A cron job or task scheduler is created to automate the daily update. Then there's another file and another cron job. Next, there's a database to store all these files and then more jobs to do that. But wait, file A needs to load before files B and C and D can only be loaded after all three. So the jobs are carefully timed, but sometimes data in file B gets locked and that throws off all the others. We need to figure out what got loaded correctly and what didn't. Don't worry, each of these jobs is logging. You just need to go through all of them and figure it out. Hope you didn't have plans for your day. Now you found the error and you need to restart specific jobs that didn't complete correctly. Just don't get it wrong and create duplicate data to clean up later. This is a very painful growth pattern that isn't uncommon. And that's why orchestration has become the centerpiece of the modern data stack. Data orchestration is the automated process that controls the web of pipelines and steps, creating an in-tune orchestra of data movement. The orchestrator will provide a central way to author, schedule, and monitor data pipelines. So how do they accomplish this task? Manual administration of data pipelines won't allow for effective scaling of data processes. If you try to develop scripts for each step of the process, a lot can and will go wrong. Orchestrators allow for patterns to be developed consistently across numerous steps. They can have defined protocols for how to handle pipeline crashes, connection failures, or any inconsistent data moving through the system. Processes can be set to run in a chain, or concurrently when possible, to reduce the bottlenecks but maintain necessary order. Apache Airflow, started by Airbnb and released in 2015, is the most common orchestrator used in data engineering. Thanks to, at least compared to other options at the time, a friendly monitoring capability, configuration as code, and the use of Python. The fact that code, dependencies, progress, logs, triggers, and status was all kept in a central location without needing to build it out manually was a huge appeal. It's centered around the concept of a DAG, Direct Acyclic Graph, which is a collection of tasks to run, organized for relationship and dependency. The DAG is usually a Python script with all these controller functions. And then each task is another script performing some function on the data, such as cleaning, organizing, ingesting, computing metrics, applying business rules, performing infrastructure tasks, or machine learning. A second generation of orchestrators has been developed to improve things even further, many of which are built on top of Airflow. Some focus on improvements in user interface, templates, additional libraries to simplify things, more machine learning capabilities, cloud software as a service versions, or low code capability. This has created a variety of options to pick from based on specific needs. Without an orchestrator, it will become difficult to manage and scale your pipelines. So when deciding your modern data stack options, don't overlook the importance of a good orchestrator that fits your needs.